I can't stress enough that good judgment equals safety. Almost all issues or incidents abroad that aren't just pickpocketing or something involve alcohol, and they, all, and they involve substance abuse. The reality is we cannot tell the rest of the world to behave according to American standards or laws. All we can do is make sure you understand you're in charge of your own behavior and that the messages you might be sending to people are scary. So if you're going to go out, and you're going to go out, they have nightclubs abroad, they have things you want to do. If you're drinking a lot uh, and you're loud and all this, somebody has identified that you're a target. If you're drinking a lot and you become drunk, your risk is going to go up. If you're drinking a lot and you don't see the liquor poured into your glass and the glass go from hand to hand, your risk is going to go up a lot. If people put things in drinks. If you are completely drunk, you have given the right to do whatever to somebody else. You're no longer in charge. You might be responsible for your behavior, but let's face it, you're no longer in charge. Think about this before you go, because this is how you get into trouble. I just came back from a place where there was a Syrian incident involving a young woman. We were very frustrated with her. She was not a UC Merced student. We were very, very frustrated with her because she did all this. And it was a big deal, parents were involved, safety was involved, money was involved, and everything got back on track, and she did it again. And they sent her home. Because, you know, that person obviously isn't, has no sense of, of good judgment, of how to take care of herself, or anything else. So remember, the messages you send, you might not be understanding them, but they might not be safe. Once again, emergency, we put this on a lot, and we want you to take care of it. So all of this information and much more is available at the EAP website, and I'm here. Parents can call me, and I can answer your questions about that. And now, I would like to ask all of the staff members and PAs to come down in front and to be with me for a minute, because I want to tell you the most important thing you're going to hear today. The website for the EAP, www. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Sorry. Yeah, don't ask me. Come on, <laughs> Craig. Bridget, Suki, these are all the people you work with in the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's... There's something we neglected to tell you at the very beginning. And I want to do that now. Can we have the, it's only one more second that we have. So have the audience come down a bit. And that is this. It is a remarkably challenging, personally challenging, personally fulfilling, but scary thing to apply to go abroad for a period of time into a completely different culture into a completely different place, a different language, you know you're going to get in situations where you're going to have to problem solve on your feet. It's going to be really frustrating and scary and also the most exciting time of your life. And some of the most enrich enriching and most um, learning time that you can have. And for that reason, I want to tell you how proud we are of you and how proud we are that you've done this and are taking this step how much we support you, how much we want you to have a good time, and we're there to help you succeed. And the most thing we want to tell you is, aside from take us with you, is congratulations. You've done a great thing getting selected to EAP, and I'm going to ask the staff to give it up for you. So now you guys have your country specific orientation and yeah, 